Good morning. Today is March 6th, 2022. And <laughs> I recently watched an interview Snoop Dogg was doing with Kathy Bates. And love Kathy Bates. I think everybody does. Well, a lot of people do. Anyway, her comment about being a quote unquote late bloomer was phenomenal. I highly recommend you go in and watch that one and the one with uh, Fluffy, all right? Gabriel. So, anyway, I'm one of those late bloomers in life. Straight up, okay? When I moved out to California, it was because I wanted experience, all right? A friend of mine had asked me that a long, long time ago. Why'd you move out to California again? Because I want experience. I loved it when I was out here the first time, but shit, I didn't know nothing about the world, you know, and I really didn't get it. It's like 18, 19 years old, boomerang back home and about 21 years of age, stayed back home for a little bit, got up the nerve, said, nope, moving. And the section of California I live in is high desert. It's up in way it's way way north it's cold I've got four seasons it's great and I have learned a hell of a lot out here hell of a lot there is shit that's gone down and I'm sitting here going what but Kathy Bates interview with Snoop Dogg really helped me to wake up to the fact yeah Rachel you're a late bloomer so what that just means everything's available to you you'll have more respect for it so to all of you late bloomers out there, don't feel bad. Life gets really interesting because all of a sudden, it gets interesting because you have to trust and you have to trust hard. All of a sudden, you're met with choices and decisions that are more expansive than you could possibly imagine. And you're like, okay, I need to walk through this matrix and just be. You're walking through your own veil of bullshit. Don't let the fear take control. If you hesitate, you've lost momentum. If you doubt yourself, it's going to suck. So, I'd like to think that with, and I actually know, I know, that with everything that has transpired, so many people have been on my journey. I just want to say thank you. I'm very grateful for you. You have helped me grow in so many ways that it's phenomenal. You know, who, who would have thought? You know, I actually have a few things on my bucket list checked off because I did take a dive and say, hey, what's out there? You know, when we're on, you're on your spiritual journey, you're on this, this journey here and having this experience, why do we limit ourselves? Well, we start limiting ourselves because we get scared. And I am at that quote-unquote crossroads of, am I done being up here and it's time to move to a different part of, of California? <laughs> I think the answer is yes. <laughs> so right now I'm in the flow of trusting that. And I hope everybody else does too. I hope everybody else starts trusting themselves and loving themselves so much that you're just raw with yourself. You just get honest and you're sitting here going, yep, that's for me. It's the most amazing thing. And don't be dicks about the people that are falling away in your life, okay? Is it hard? It will have its moments. However, it makes you a better person. You don't collect the gunk on your chakras, okay? You really start to see the expanded picture it's a good thing. I'm not saying let them treat you like a doormat, but I am saying have a little mercy. We're all doing the best we can. That's the important part. All right. With that, have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.